blasphemous revenants. Not into the world, nor out of it, but between worlds they linger, held to the hearth and tomb by blood and loyalty. And if they come unbidden from love of kin or faith to duty, it is not unholy. It is but the answering of the ancestors, the awakening of those who never sleep, the summoning to service of those bound through hearth and house to the protection of the clan. But if sorcerers bring them forth, then such a summons is blasphemy, an abomination before the tribes and temple, and a sin so great that ages of burning cannot cleanse the fault. Abide not the sorcerer among you, for he comes to steal the bones of your fathers and dust of your tombs. He seeks to bind by power what is yours by right, to drag forth the warm spirits from their world between, and bind them to service like slaves and beasts. Who can know the shame of the dead, the ceaseless weeping of the necromancer's thrall? Cruel enough is the ancestor's service given in love to hearth and kin, but ghost or guardian, bone-walker or bone-lord, summoned by profane ritual and bound by force to the corpse miner's will, how may such a spirit ever find rest? How may it ever find its way back to its blood and clan? Only a righteous Dunmer, bound by blood to hearth and kin, bound by oath to service to the temple, can call upon the spirits of the Dunmer dead. Those foreign sorcerers of other races that invade our shores, shall they be permitted to rob our tombs, to bind our kin spirits into sorcerous slavery, to steal the lives of our dead as well as our land of the living? No, I say, no and no three times more. Such necromancers must die, and their profane magics must die with them. And shall we tolerate the hidden hosts of the undead, the arrogant princes of necromancers, the ancient vampire demons who creep from their lairs in the west, seeking refuge in profane Diedrich shrines, abandoned Dunmer strongholds, and corrupted subterranean labyrinths of the detested Dwemer race? For ages the great houses and the temple have kept our land clean of the vampire's taint. But now these undead lords and their vile cattle have returned. These vampires must die, and their corrupt cattle with them, and their blood taint must be forever erased by fire and stake.